one. So lately I have been asked about ab workouts and if I could do one. So here it is. I'm going to explain a little bit before I get into it though. So for me, I really don't do abs that often. I find it to be boring. I do them sometimes. I try to force myself to do it, but I honestly feel that I get the most core engagement actually whenever I do my powerlifting movements, because whenever you do those movements, you have to breathe in, put all the air into your core and use it and push through a belt if you're using a belt or just push through your stomach, push the air through your stomach in order to initiate those movements. And I feel like I get the best ab workouts from that actually. But not everyone power lifts and it is good to do abs. It's a muscle, you should work it. It's super important to have a strong core. So this workout is basically for everyone. You can do it in 10 minutes. There's 10 different exercises. Each exercise you're gonna do for 45 seconds and then rest and transition between exercises for the next 15 seconds. Every other exercise is going to be an ab workout and every other exercise is going to be a cardio workout. So basically you can have an incredible six pack, you can do crunches all day, but if there's fat over it, you're not gonna see it. So in order to have abs and actually see them, people say abs are made in the kitchen, you need to have a proper diet and you need to do cardio. You don't need to do cardio, that is a generalization, but cardio does help to get you more lean, to decrease your fat tissue. Just don't overdo it. So um, another reason why I put a cardio workout into this is it just keeps you going, it keeps your heart rate up, but I do not want you using your ab exercises as cardio movements. A lot of people, if they do crunches or if they do um, bicycles, that's what they're called. If they do bicycles, they just kick and they try to make it into a cardio exercise where they're increasing their heart rate but really you should be doing it slow and you should actually be engaging those muscles. So all of the ab movements, I actually want you to engage your muscles and I want you to work your abs because you will be doing cardio during the other five exercises. Super easy, you can do this at home. It'll only take 10 minutes, which is like a third of a short Netflix show. So super quick amount of time and very little equipment. You don't even really have to use any and I will get more into that because I will be doing a voiceover to explain how to execute every single movement. So I hope you guys enjoy it and if you do, please like this video and comment below if you actually do the workout because I wanna get feedback and I wanna know if you guys like it and if you have any more suggestions for workouts you wanna see, then let me know. All right guys, enjoy it. For the first 45 seconds, you're gonna jump rope. And if you don't have a jump rope, just pretend. But yes, for 45 seconds, you'll be jump roping, and then you'll take a 15 second rest, and that is your first cardio exercise. I was thinking about the day we met, and the love came rushing out. And your second exercise, but first ab exercise, is gonna be knees to elbows. You can even keep it on the same side using your right knee and bring it to your right elbow and left knee to your left elbow, or you can cross. Your third exercise, but your second cardio exercise is squatting in and out. So you're gonna squat with wider stance and then come in and squat with a narrow stance. Your next ab exercise is actually push ups. They are a great core workout. And if you get too fatigued, you can actually drop down to your knees and do girl push-ups. Now this next exercise looks pretty weird. It's me doing high knees in place, not just jogging in place. So I am actually using my core here, but I'm using it as a cardio exercise. Next are Russian twists, but you want to keep whatever object you have high in the air. If you do not have an object to hold or if you're a beginner, you can just clasp your hands together or you can grab any household item that might be a little bit of weight if you don't have a medicine ball. Now it's time for some mountain climbers, your next cardio exercise. Remember to drive your knees up and keep the rate hot. Next up are leg raises to 
target your lower abs. You can hold on to something or you can put your hands underneath your butt. Just make sure you don't pick it up too much and you want to keep a flat back. Everyone's favorite cardio exercise, burpees. Now you don't have to put the push-up into it. I will be doing a few without the push-up. It just is up to you. I like putting the push-up in there. And lastly, we have the plank, which is great for core stability. Now you don't have to hold it for 45 seconds. You can hold it for a minute. You can hold it for as long as you can. This last exercise, you're just wanna going to hold for as long as you can.